Shall we give thanks to God? Amen. Let's thank Him. Go ahead and thank Him and thank Him and thank Him. And thank Him, give Him praise and glory. Exalt Him, no one is like Him forever is on the throne. In Jesus' mighty name. You know why we thank God? This is a church where everybody can carry the grace I carry, whether male or female. Once you are genuinely connected, you can flow. So, people like me can't die. You know why? When I'm old gone, there will be people will be doing whatever I'm doing. So, people like me will live forever. Because grace will keep moving from one person to another. You can't keep people like me. Because inside me, he has replicated the grace to so many. Too many. Too many. How can somebody pray? And then everything. That's the grace I carry. If you watch any young man do crusade, they, they just exactly as operate. If you are not operating what I'm operating, then your heart is wrong. If you're generally connected, just pray for the sick, the person will get healed. There's no way you pray for the sick from this commission, the person will not get healed. If it doesn't happen, pray again and watch your heart. Watch your what? And push your heart. Praise the Lord. We have to thank them. You know, I, I got up, I laughed. I didn't sleep till about four before I sleep, enter my eyes, and by five. My wife tapped me, it's 5 a.m. We got a difference in time. Sleep refused to come, even I lie on the bed, so I had to put a message on my ear. I was listening to it. I knew that sleep maybe came around 4. So I slept for just one hour, 10 minutes, and about. But after service, I would rest before the evening on. And that's why I'm laughing. When I climb up, I start laughing. I said, buddy, in Pigeon, they say, buddy, no firewood. <laughs> Mother, bro. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But God is so good to us. He's so wonderful. He's so good, so faithful to salvation ministries. We don't take things for granted. We're not taking it for granted. He has made provisions. He has given us victory. Everything has just seen miracles. People pray for people, things are happening. Not just the devil be prayed. Members praying, things are happening. Watch your heart. Watch your heart. Just remain connected and the same grace will answer her. To you for all that God has done, let's thank Him one more time. Let's thank Him one more time. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, mighty God. For everything that has happened, we thank you. We are grateful to you, mighty God. We give you praise and glory. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Lord, this fourth service, not the last because we have service at 5 p.m. today. Speak to us through your word. Let everyone that hears the word be blessed of you. In Jesus' name. Give me a big hand. You may be seated. Enjoying all round comfort, part four. Enjoying all round comfort, part four. God created you and I to give Him glory. In Isaiah 43, verse 7, He said, Even everyone that is called by my name, I have created Him for my glory. He made the earth for man to enjoy comfort. He gave you an eye authority to have dominion over the earth. Genesis 1 to the earth. And God loves when you and I dominate the earth. we glad in his heart. But hear what God says, For a great and effectual door is open unto me, but there are many adversaries. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. Until you clear the adversaries, you cannot advance. Every time God opens doors for you, forces will resist you. You don't fold your arms to watch what you don't want. You clear what you don't want to advance in life. And whatever is not planted by God in your life shall be rooted out right now. Yeah, yeah what God said, he says, thou shalt suffer not a wish to live. Exodus 22 verse 18. Until you stop the witches, they will not stop bewitching. Comfort is a function of you executing vengeance against the force that wants to stop you. 
without vengeance, suffering, affliction, pain, stagnation, and all of them will continue. But that will not be a portion. You can't reign in this wicked world except by vengeance. Vengeance is simply God troubling your troublers. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, it says, I recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And today, everyone troubling you and I will be troubled in the name of Jesus. It is God humiliating our oppressors that leads to our elevation and peace. Yet, this I well, salvation is to save sinners, for vengeance is reserved for the wicked. You don't tell the wicked to be saved. <laughs> Are you getting me now? He said, God is angry with the wicked dead. In Psalm 7 verse 9, down to 11, he said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. I decree every form of wickedness will end right now. Amen. Verse 10, the Bible said, my defense of God and, and which saved the upright heart. Verse 11, for God judged the righteous. No, the people said, God is angry with the wicked Every day. So the wickedness, the yesterday anger is there for today's anger. Every wicked man and woman who has vowed to torment our life, God will judge them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody will be sentenced to death right now. Amen. If you believe it, your amen will confirm it. Amen. If you don't clear the enemies, you can never be lifted. Now hear this and hear me well. <laughs> There was a man called Haman. In Esther chapter 7 verse 10, this man prepared Galo to destroy Mordecai, the Jew. And the Bible said, the wife said to him, hey, be careful. If you have started falling, then you're already in trouble. In verse 10 of Esther chapter 7, so they hung Haman on the gallows that they had prepared for Mordecai. He prepared the gallows that they should hang Mordecai. And then it reversed. Then after that, Mordecai was lifted. In chapter 8, verse 15 to 16. I decree, whoever has planned to destroy us will be destroyed and will be lifted. Amen. In the second service also, I said Daniel, in Daniel chapter 6, they planned, they, there was a false accusation against Daniel. And they turned to the lions there. Those who accused him were eaten by the same lions. Everywhere they plan our downfall, they will fall into that pit. Amen. Because vengeance ends shame, bestows honor to the believer. God will silence the enemies and then lift the believer. Amen. I decree everything they plan against us, they will fall by it. Amen. If you are the one to be lifted by God, your amen will confirm it. Amen. Haman prepared gallows to hang Mordecai. He was hung there. The things they prepared to destroy us, we destroy them. Amen. And then God will lift us up. Amen. Are you the one God is about to lift? Yes. Glory to God. I'm talking to someone. I decree the plan of the enemy. He will fall by it. Amen. You and I will be lifted. Amen. Why vengeance? Why vengeance? Number one, for our preservation. For our what? In Psalm 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and strength a present help in trouble. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil and shall preserve thy souls. I want to the one seven and eight. The Lord shall preserve thy going and thy coming in from this time forth even forevermore. God will take vengeance to preserve you from all evils. The best form of defense is to be on the offensive. Even in the natural, if you're a boxer and all you do is to defend, they'll, they'll throw you out with one punch. But everybody, when you punch back, they'll say, Oh, that guy is tough. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I've noticed my short time in ministry that if you're always on the side of defense, you won't go far. Some people feel that if they keep troubling you, once you go to them, they, they stop. Have you noticed that every time people trouble you, trouble you, you say, I don't want trouble, the trouble will come more. The others I don't like to, but when they trouble you to trouble them, they will leave you alone. The best way to fight trouble is with more trouble. <laughs> trouble your troublers. Trouble your what? 
and they will leave you alone. God will fight our battles now. Why vengeance? To protect us at all times. To protect us at what? I'll beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. Psalm 89, verse 23. God will beat down those who hate us in the name of Jesus. And I say, Isaiah 43, verse 4. Since thou art precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, will I give men for thee and people for their life? Hey, there will be divine exchange. Those who want us dead will die today. Yeah. Because you are precious, because I will give men an exchange. Anyone that says, kill him in the name of Jesus will be killed right now. Yeah. Anyone planning to kill us, kill our children, will die as I'm talking in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Why vengeance? Number three. To give us all round comfort. All round what? Isaiah 61 verse 2. To proclaim the seventh year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Without vengeance, life can never be comfortable. Okay, how can you now be comfortable if a witch is after you? <laughs> you can't be comfortable with a witch troubling your life. Every night you'll be sleeping and suddenly you'll be cutting your body up and down. Am I talking? How can you live in comfort when the wizard is after your life? How can you live comfortably if somebody has decided to oppress you in your office? So God wants us to live a comfortable life when he deals with them. Is that true? Yes, Today, in the name of Jesus, it shall be to you a day of vengeance. Yes, Everyone tormenting you and I will be tormented. Yes, if you believe it, say Amen. Yes, why vengeance? To silence the opposition. To silence what? In Deuteronomy 2 verse 25. Dethrone your enemies. And this day will I begin to put the dread of thee and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heaven. We shall hear the report of thee and shall, be trem and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. Your dread, when they call your name, they'll be afraid. Tamboro begedi akata. The mention of your name and my name, anybody's name connected to this message, people will be afraid. Yeah. When they call your name, fear will enter the camp of the enemy. Yeah. Shout aloud, amen. Yeah. They shall put your fear and dread upon them. Yeah. Anywhere they call our names for evil, turn that strike there. Yeah. I command turn that to strike in the name of Jesus. Why vengeance? To enjoy growth. To enjoy what? To enjoy growth. If you read Acts chapter 12, 1 to 5, <laughs> Herod, after he killed James, headed for Peter and took him to prison. And the church prayed. Church did what? Then in verse 23, 24, Herod died. Church grew. Church did what? Church grew. So today, you can't grow if evil men are there, God has to kill them. God has to what? If you want to enjoy growth, if you want to enjoy growth, some people must die. You can't grow. I'm a mobile attack here. Today, whoever has vowed to make sure that to say, I want allow this to go forward, will die now. For us to grow in the name of Jesus. How to execute vengeance? How do you execute vengeance? You don't wait for very years to execute it. How to execute vengeance? Number one, by new birth. By what? God can only fight for his own. You keep yourself defenseless against the wicked when you live, live in sin and you're not ready to repent. Salvation is the access to vengeance. We're going to, we're to end all forms of wickedness. In Psalm 34, verse 17, the righteous cry and the Lord hear it and delivered them out of all their trouble. The righteous cry. So you can't be living anyhow. You are not born again. You are born again. You are still carrying a kukuje in your hand. You still mix the two. You put one hand for God, one hand, one. You come to church in the morning, in the evening, you are going to one herbalist. That's not how to live. Are you hearing me now? 
No, 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 no. You can't be in Christ and still be entering cult. No, no, don't mix the two. Don't mix what? Denounce the cult and accept Jesus. Can't come to church in the morning, in the evening, you're going to see somebody somewhere, look like you enter. You say, tell me something. What do, you, what do you want to tell me? No, no, you're a child of God. That's not how to execute vengeance. Two, you want to execute vengeance, locate relevant scriptures. Locate appropriate what? Relevant scriptures. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 2, it said, Take with thee words and turn unto the Lord. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 2. It said, Take with thee, take with you what? Words and turn to the Lord. So you take God's word and give it back to God. It said, Produce your strong what? Resist. Study to show yourself what? Approve. Rightly divided the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 15. God responds to his word. That's why you must have revelation of his word. Are you getting what I'm talking about? When some people came after me, I saw from God's word that my hand shall be on the neck of my enemies. That was the scripture I used. And they turned back to God and said, Lord, put your hand upon. And then I subdued them. He said, I shall subdue and put my hand on their neck. You know, when we are small, somebody stronger than you, the person who holds the neck. The person does like this, say, leave me, you no kill me, you. leave me, you no kill me. You. Now, God said, you put your hand on the neck of what? That was the scripture I used to finish the people who were after me. That is a, is a, your hand on your enemies does not mean that your physical hand. It means you put them where they will say, please, please, leave now, leave now, no kill us. Today, God will put your enemies down under your feet. Amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. So look for the word of God. Don't just go for vengeance when you have not located scriptures. Are you getting what I'm talking about? This morning I was meditating. But as the way God speaks to me in the bedroom, he gave me a scripture. <clears throat> I'll throw it out. When I, when, this evening I may bring the scripture. This evening service. After my wife finishes, when I want to share grace, she will pray for you. When I want to share grace, as I'm led. The scripture, eh? Go take and finish somebody. Just finish the person. Set so you go, yeah, we. Whoa! He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their uh, locate word. People are so lazy. They want to do vengeance. Even to low scripture, they don't know scripture. They just say vengeance, vengeance. There's no there's no prayer like that. Vengeance, vengeance. Take scriptures. Take what? <laughs> Now, now listen, prayer is, prayer is very technical. The real work for prayer is not praying. You know. The real work for prayer is located scriptures. See the way David prayed. David knew that if he said, God, kill Aitofel, it will not make meaning. Aitofel's strength was his wisdom. So David was very technical in his prayer. He said, Lord, turn Aitofel cancel into foolishness. <laughs> into what? Because he, knows that he knew that the strength of Aitofel was his wisdom. For him to carry Absalom, <laughs> he must have convinced Absalom. So he said, okay. Lord, turn his counsel into... And when his counsel was not taken, he committed suicide. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Simple. So, locate what? Scriptures. Two of you are competing. The other one is not born again, you are born again. He said, Lord, he said, make for my children first. I'm a child of God, so no matter who is connected to him, Make for me first. You are the owner of the heaven and the earth. I am your own. Therefore, I decree. Some trust in chance of in husband, but we remember the name of the Lord our God. Lord, you put down one and lift up another. Put him down with the empty supporting him. Let you forget him. The empty will forget him that morning. When he come, he'll finish signing before he will come. He said, Lord, make him an insult. Make me a Jacob. That when he comes, he will say, too late. I've signed it for young somebody else. Say vengeance. Don't pray without locating scriptures. And number three, declare the word. Declare what? Never let the enemy have the final say. If you don't act, God will not react. You must enforce God's word in prayers to execute vengeance against the wicked. He said, produce your cause. Say the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons. Say the God or King of Jacob. Isaiah 41 to the one. He said, open the mouth wide and I will fill it. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which adversary cannot get say, no, resist. 
Luke 21, 15. Let me say this to you. There are people you don't pray for. You pray against. To pray for sinners to be saved. You pray for sinners to be saved, but you pray for the wicked to be destroyed. You are the one to invoke. Let me say this to you. For you to see anything, you must say something. Do you know God will never confirm what you have not declared? There will be no vengeance if you keep your mouth shut. Who said Goliath, this day will I bring down your head? God or David? It's not God. It was David who said it. Then God confirmed it. The reason God has not done anything is because your mouth is closed. <laughs> I came on this altar. Most of you are members. And there was a Osikako tormented people's life. This man was a notorious killer. In the eastern part of Nigeria, who were afraid to travel any part of the east. And he shot a young man, shot his car, pieces the car. And I came up on a Thursday service and I said, Listen, I didn't say kidnap, I called his name in the church. I said, Oh, Sikanko, hear me. If you don't die this weekend, God did not call me. I didn't mix words. I didn't say, eh, One kidnap. I called his name. I said, I sentence you on Thursday. By Friday, they killed him. This is a man who the God does not enter his body, but he was sentenced. Then Don Wani, the notorious Omoko boy. I said, seven days, Don Wani, you are dead. I called his name. I said, you are dead seven days. On the seventh day, was gone down. Listen, we are too gentle. You know the thing, you know, God. <laughs> if you go kill and kill and if you go kill and kill and if you go kill and God will be looking at you and say, is that prayer? For God, if you go kill and kill and if you go kill and kill and <laughs> make a kill and win the water me too much of God, kill and What kind of prayer is that? Listen, I give it three days. In three days, you are dead. Three days, one, two, three. All the forces in heaven will say three days, three days, three days. What is it? Three days, three days. All the charms in his body will fail. Declare. Every closed mouth closes destiny. Open your mouth wide. Whoever is making me not to, not to carry the blessings God has given to me, I decree you get out of this earth. Are you hearing me? Four, finally. Engage the weapon of the blood of Jesus. Engage the weapon of the blood of Satan is behind every opposition. You must clear him by the blood of Jesus. Revelation 12 verse 11. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their test. The blood of Jesus destroys all oppositions and Satanic schemes against us. So the blood of Jesus against every force that wants to resist my lifting now. The blood will go for like a lightning. Ooh! The one you just called for calling Seiko with revelation. There's a young man. <laughs> my wife is laughing. He's my wife's candidate. My wife has funny, funny candidates for prayer. When he's praying with them, he will not, I'll hear his voice from my study. All I will hear is. So what does it go? What are you? What? <laughs> Which blood? <laughs> we have blood of goat, blood of cow, blood of Jesus. Which blood are you calling? <laughs> All we hear in the prayers. <laughs> I don't want to pray. This is your blood. I don't understand it though. If you witches are not being moved. <laughs> So, the blood of who? He said, the blood of Jesus against you. Then you, you Zachariah chapter 9 will go like this. Ooh, like thunder. Bah, 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 bah. So, I'll say, oh, no way. Oh. I'm not standing on the way. That's how to pray. No, just say, blood. <laughs> and people don't have revelation in prayer. They shout more than others. Before they even pray, they've they shouted. <laughs> so, even when they're praying, 
for such vegetable bread, they'll be sleeping. Then when you come near, they blood of your blood of your blood of your blood. blood, blood. <laughs> I have a young man. <laughs> Anytime they do all night, you will not hear his voice. <laughs> but when they want to pray in the morning, I will hear his voice in my room. I'll be here. I say, look, this prayer, you are either sleeping in the night. In the night, you will never hear his voice because sleep will be battling with him. He will pray like this. In Jesus' name, Jesus' name, Jesus' name, Jesus' name. But early morning, that time sleep has cleared. You see him shouting. I want people to pray now. I want people to pray now. I want people to pray now. To pray. So I call him and say, Come. I know in the, in the night you are battling with sleep in that morning. <laughs> My friend, if you are feeling sleepy, don't ever pray. All this kind of prayer where you hold pillow. <laughs> you hold pillow and kneel down. All those prayers are religious prayers. Don't ever pray. If you hold pillow, you are sleeping, my friend. Better sleep. Oh, when you wake up, you pray. You know, no, no. The one you hold pillow, you sleep. Oh, they knock your kid. <laughs> Have you ever played with a whole pillow like this? You kneel down for a chair. You two know that you are sleeping. Then when they, maybe they knock your door. As they knock your door, they say, oh, no, they never choose us. Never choose. So the person who is who's, who's by the door will hear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> they now ask you, ah, you they pray? He says, yes, I they pray. <laughs> Can you answer somebody? <laughs> are you praying? Yes, bro. Hold on, outside I'm praying. Eh? When I'm through prayer, what kind of prayer is that? Prayer that you're hearing the person knocking your gate. But better pray when you want to pray. When I pray, I don't even know. Life story, my wife was with me. We were praying on, was it Monday morning? Somebody walked in and walked out. I'm sorry, Volio Gardino. When I pray, I don't, I connect. That is where I pray. Somebody walked to serve us tea. I didn't know when they dropped the tea and walked out. I was connected. She was praying with me inside an airport. But because it was a private room, I prayed to a point that the person walked in, dropped tea for her and walked out. I didn't know. That's when you want to pray, not every small thing, you look your phone. Oh boy, hold on, eh? You don't know how they pray. When I pray, finish, I call. <laughs> when I'm through with prayers, I call you, eh? What kind of prayer is that? When you want to do vengeance prayer, disconnect from every mortal. I can be looking at you and I won't see you. Not once, not twice. I'll be physically, my eyes will be on you. I won't see you. I'm, I'll just switch over to the other side. Look at, look at, look at everyone after my life. Oh God of vengeance, show thyself. This gang up against me and my family. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, oh God, let them be scattered. Put them down. Blood them, this woman shall live out their days. I decree in three days, their leader goes down. If you know his name, you call him by name. In the name of Jesus Christ, arise, O oh God, O oh, the woman, now show yourself. And then you begin to move them. Boom. 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 You just be watching like this. Are you hearing me now? That's what makes Christianity sweet. Rise to your feet. Shout hallelujah. In Psalm 92, verse 11. He said, my eye also shall see my desire on my enemies. And my ear shall hear my desire of the wicked. Listen. Your own desire, not God. Listen, before you pray. My eye also shall see my desire. What do you desire? David said my desire is that you all circumcised Philistine, your head be cut off. That was his own desire. That was his own desire. What is your desire? Don't pray until you have a desire. You must pray. Lord, my desire is that everything stopping my blessing must be stopped today. Everything tormenting me must be tormented today. Whatever is affecting my family today is the last day. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you hearing? It's in my ear. I wanted Don Wani to die in seven days. That was my desire. I wanted Osikako to die in what? Three days. That was my desire. There are some things I desire, I won't tell you. I, I do them my own. Not every prayer you pray in the open. Now, you know who is troubling you. You know what is troubling you. What's your desire? This thing must end today. Oh God of vengeance, show. I can't the whole family, nobody can bring 500,000. The whole of your family. 
If you beat everybody now, 500,000 cannot come out. So family is not 100,000. You can't call for your family and say, please, 100,000. Nobody can bring 100,000. There are families that every 11 children, nobody can bring. Put 11 of you, 30,000. It cannot come out. What kind of thing? Are you laughing? But again, he said, whatever is sitting on our destiny, this is the last day. Are you getting me now? Something must be wrong somewhere. You are born again, and then the whole family, you can't pick phone. I said, bro, send me one million. One million, one. 100, nobody in the family can raise. No, no, you can't be the only star in your family. Lord, whatever is standing and sitting on our destiny, I curse it. Oh, God of vengeance today. Today, not tomorrow, take vengeance against the forces limiting me from rising. Are you ready? Are you ready? He said, pray for instant vengeance on your adversaries. On your what? Super point. And declare that your desire against them must be fulfilled. Is that clear? Based on this. Are you ready? Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. In Jesus' mighty name, take the oil in your hand. After David was anointed, the Spirit of God came upon him from that day forward. He was anointed in chapter 16. He brought down Goliath in chapter 17. 
Holy Spirit, breathe your bread upon this oil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every Goliath standing and posing as a threat to you will go down right now. Amen. He said, I found David my servant, Psalm 89, 20 to 23. I have found David my, my holy oil, have I anointed him? With whom my hand shall be established. The enemy shall not exert upon him, neither shall the son of wickedness afflict him. I'll beat down his foes before his face and plague all that hate him. Now, in the name of Jesus, everyone that is tormented alive, God will plague them. Anyone troubling us, God will trouble them. All those who said there were enemies, God Himself will be their enemies. He said, I'll be an enemy to your enemy, and to your whoever calls himself an enemy to us, God Himself will fight them in the name of Jesus. He said in Psalm 92, 10 to 14, My horn shall die. He said, But my horn shall die. It's all like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with what? Fresh oil. He said, My desire. My eyes shall also see my desire upon my enemies. Everything you open your mouth to declare, you will see it happen. <laughs> Our ears will hear that the things we desire is come to pass. <laughs> they that we plant in the house of the Lord said, They shall flourish like a palm tree, grow in the soil. Today, after this anointing and this vengeance, you begin to flourish. <laughs> You shall still, verse 40 says, you shall still bring forth fruit in the old age. and be fat and fr- May this mark the beginning of you never express a dry season. Amen. No matter the hardship in the land where you are, you will not be a victim of it. Amen. The louder your amen, you have it done. Amen. He said, whoever touched you, touched the apple of his eyes. It shall be unto you a wall of fire. Zechariah chapter 2, 8 and 5. Today, anyone that dares to touch us in the name of Jesus, God is saying, strike them in the name of Jesus. Anyone that takes your name, my name, to any evil place or holy meeting against us, I decree thunder to strike there. Anywhere they are holding a secret meeting against our destiny and our lives, I decree that meeting will end with disaster. They will not live to execute their plans. Amen. Anyone planning evil and holding a secret meeting even in their heart against us in the name of Jesus, I decree today that person will not live to see the following day. Amen. The person will not live to execute that plan. Amen. If you believe it, say amen like a believer. He said the pit they have dug, they will fall into it. Everything they are planning against you and I, they will fall into it. The louder your amen, you have it done. He says, They went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another. He allowed no man to the wrong age. The proof case with us, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. As you go from one place to another, travel air, land, and sea, by the anointing of this day, we are touched not to evil. Amen. Sickness and plagues will fall from us. Amen. Dead will never come near our habitation. Arm robbers, as I said, higher killer will not come near us. Hate killers will never come near us. Amen. If you believe it, say amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Second Chronicles chapter 22, verse 7, he said, The destruction of Isaiah was of God by coming to Jerusalem. For when he's come, he went out of Jerusalem again to the son of Nimshi. Whom the Lord had anointed to cut off the house of Ahab. You don't understand the Bible said. He said the anointing caused the house of wickedness. Ahab means what? Wickedness. Today, as you are anointed, every form of wickedness will be cut off. Amen. Those who say you will not progress. Hey, my good brigadier car. This is the last day they will ever live. Everyone has tormented your life. If they are dead, their children will be tormented. Amen. Those who affected your life from moving forward, I decree judgment to strike them. Amen. Any armed robber, as I say, that's vow, kidnapper, that's vow, I decree God Himself will strike them to death. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So, oh God of vengeance. Show yourself. Now begin to invoke vengeance and anoint yourself. No more. Begin to invoke vengeance. Lord, show your anoint yourself. All this world, oh God of vengeance, show yourself. 
show yourself in the name of Jesus. Oh God of vengeance, show yourself. Oh God of vengeance, show yourself. Oh God of vengeance, show yourself. The seal of the Holy Ghost upon my life. I am touched not to every evil. Lord, fight my battles. Defend me and all that concerns me. Defend your church. Oh God of vengeance, show yourself. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now listen. He said, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of judgment. In case somebody is struggling with your health, evil tormenting you, that this microscope can't see. Lab can't pick. They don't see Satan in microscope. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you not heard people say, and when they say nothing, but the thing is, something is moving in the body. The Holy Ghost will go on the inside. For everyone to say, sound health. Any devil tormenting you on the inside, instantly, as you take a shot of that same oil, I decree it flushed out now. <laughs> Whatever is making life uncomfortable on the inside, he has a fan in his hand who burn the child with a quenchable fire. I decree your system, he will sweep your system and chase away that evil out of your system. That charm, that spell will not stay in your body in the name of Jesus. He will go into your system and clear it. Now take a shot and it will be a toast for total health. In the precious name of Jesus. We close on this note. The song God gave to me, I serve a God who never fails. That's the song everyone, every church will sing. I serve a God who never what? Fails. In Psalm 149, we are going to praise God for four minutes. Psalm 149, four, four, four minutes. Six. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. High praises is not conventional praise. It's the praise you don't look at your neighbor. A two-edged sword in the hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. To bind their kings to chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. To execute upon the judgment, what? Everything written here, God executed. This and all the same, praise the Lord. You are praising the God of vengeance with praise. Lord, if there be anything remaining that I don't know about, take care. You go down, you come up. One of my greatest secrets is this one. When I want to praise God, I lock my door. I go down, I come up. I go down, I come up. But my finished battle is over. No battle, no matter the fierce battle with this one is final. Grand finale. Now you are going to praise God for four minutes. Serious praise. Serious what? Anywhere. In case I don't know where something is going. I don't know. God, take vengeance as I praise you. Clear it. Let me live in liberty. Are you ready? Let's go, all churches. Four minutes. We serve a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails, who never fails. He can never, ever fail, forever. We serve a God who never fails, who never fails.
30 seconds. By this place, call on the God of vengeance concerning any issue of your life. Go ahead, in the name of Jesus. God to fight all invisible battles and visible battles. Visible and invisible battles. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. It is done. Amen. But here, these people of God, the first step is to be born again. You cannot be in the camp of the enemy and be asking God to take vengeance. You must surrender your life totally to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. In case you are born again and you also somehow backslidden, rededicate your life. All those who say, Jesus, I want to give my life to you so that I can enjoy the fullness of your benefits of redemption. Offer these prayers after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I've declared you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name.